Welcome to the Today in History podcast, where you learn about an event that occurred today, July 17th, from history. Today's episode is titled, July 17th, 1955, Disneyland Opens. Disneyland, Walt Disney's metropolis of nostalgia, fantasy, and futurism, opens on July 17, 1955. The $17 million theme park was built on 160 acres of former orange groves in Anaheim, California, and soon brought in staggering profits. Today, Disneyland hosts more than 14 million visitors a year, who spend close to $3 billion. Walt Disney, born in Chicago in 1901, worked as a commercial artist before setting up a small studio in Los Angeles to produce animated cartoons. In 1928, his short film Steamboat Willie, starring the character Mickey Mouse, was a national sensation. It was the first animated film to use sound, and Disney provided the voice for Mickey. From there on, Disney cartoons were in heavy demand, but the company struggled financially because of Disney's insistence on ever improving artistic and technical quality. His first feature-length cartoon, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, 1938, took three years to complete and was a great commercial success. Snow White was followed by other feature-length classics for children, such as Pinocchio, 1940, Dumbo, 1941, and Bambi, 1942. Fantasia, 1940, which coordinated animated segments with famous classical music pieces, was an artistic and technical achievement. In Song of the South, 1946, Disney combined live actors with animated figures, and beginning with Treasure Island in 1950 the company added live-action movies to its repertoire. Disney was also one of the first movie studios to produce film directly for television, and its Zorro and Davy Crockett series were very popular with children. In the early 1950s, Walt Disney began designing a huge amusement park to be built near Los Angeles. He intended Disneyland to have educational as well as amusement value and to entertain adults and their children. Land was bought in the farming community of Anaheim, about 25 miles southeast of Los Angeles, and construction began in 1954. In the summer of 1955, special invitations were sent out for the opening of Disneyland on July 17. Unfortunately, the pass was counterfeited and thousands of uninvited people were admitted into Disneyland on opening day. The park was not ready for the public, food and drink ran out, a women's high heel shoe got stuck in the wet asphalt of Main Street USA, and the Mark Wayne steamboat nearly capsized from too many passengers. Disneyland soon recovered, however, and attractions such as the castle, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Snow White's Adventures, Space Station X-1, Jungle Cruise, and Stagecoach drew countless children and their parents. Special events and the continual building of new state-of-the-art attractions encouraged them to visit again. In 1965, works began on an even bigger Disney theme park and resort near Orlando, Florida. Walt Disney died in 1966, and Walt Disney World was opened in his honor on October 1, 1971. Epcot Center, Disney MGM Studios, and Animal Kingdom were later added to Walt Disney World, and it remains Florida's premier tourist attraction. In 1983, Disneyland Tokyo opened in Japan. And in 1992 Disneyland Paris or Euro Disney opened to a mixed reaction in Man La Valley. The newest Disneyland, in Hong Kong, opened its doors in September 2005. Today's historic event is provided by History.com. You can find a link to the article in the show notes. Tune in tomorrow for an all-new episode of Today in History.